Well, it looks like we're going to get a few days of sunny weather, so I'm on to my next project, installing a new uh, TV antenna. Now, our rig came with the old standard kind of bat wing antenna, wine guard sensor, I think it is. Uh, over the years, it's kind of, you know, it's gotten a, a little bit beat up with the weather and everything. And also, I started installing more solar panels, and those... Uh, wine guards they kind of crank down and they lie on the roof so it was going to lie where some solar panels were so I removed it and decided at some point I was going to get a new TV antenna and it happened to be my birthday a little while ago and uh, Ann was asking oh what do you want for your birthday I said uh, TV antennas so this this arrived on my birthday she did a pretty good job it's called the King Jack it's kind of your standard low profile antenna that most of the RVs are coming with now so I'm going to today install this up on the roof while we have some sunshine and then we'll hook it up inside and give it a test. So this is the piece and she also was smart enough to get the, the extra mounting plate because it's going to uh, go, go in the place of my existing antenna and the base is a lot bigger than this base so to cover up the hole and everything it's good to have the mounting plate so that'll go down first. And this thing screws on the mounting plate. This will go down into the rig. And then inside the rig on the ceiling there will be this thing. And that will be for adjusting it. And this one also has a level meter. There's some LEDs there. And then so you can find the signal before you go and scan your TV looking for signals. Which is kind of nice. A little knob for adjusting levels and stuff like that. So we'll look at that once we get it hooked up. And then there's a wall plate as well. And then for different roof sizes, there's this extra piece that can fit on if you to, so you can adjust for thicker roofs, depending how, how thick your rafters are on your roof. So first things first is to get up there and get the sealant off the old uh, mounting plate and remove it and clean, clean up the area so that I can start to mount this new King Jack. So it looks like there's screws all around the plate. I got to get the old uh, die core lap sealant off. It's kind of like bubble gum, so it's not too hard. The trusty hive tool does a good job. Helps me lift it out. I just got to watch when I get down around the, the rubber roof that I don't make a cut into it or anything, but I'll work around slowly. Peel all this uh, bubble gum off. <laughs> Probably better if you can do it on a hot day. It's not so hot right now around here. But I could always get a hair dryer or heat gun if I need to. Seems to be coming up pretty good though. You can see the screws there. Those are some pretty uh, long ass screws. Quite a few of them. They really don't want that plate. But I guess it's holding that... Uh, antenna up in the air so it's got to be pretty strong in the wind see if we can uh, lift this off now oh it's stuck on there pretty good it's coming it's coming There we be. So, good news is, looks like I've been successful in keeping any leaks out of there. Everything looks dry. Looks like they used some uh, butyl tape to seal the plate. I'll do the same, I guess. I'll probably use some Eternabond tape around the plate as well. So, it's kind of a picky job to get rid of as much as this uh, old lap sealant as I can. Well, got it fairly flat. I don't want to go too far and then start damaging the rubber roof underneath. 
I did have to pull out my heat gun a bit to soften it up just to, to make it a little easier to get up but I got it pretty flat so here's the mounting plate I've put a bunch of butyl tape right in the seam there and that should seal around the hole and also it'll help uh, seal the screw holes when I put the screws through so I think I'm gonna line it maybe something like that let's see here yeah something like that I don't mind this area because I'm gonna have a, a square piece of uh, roofing tape going around it so it'll be a uh, much like my uh, vents and stuff. Yes, I'll reuse the screws. This thing didn't come with any screws at all. Well, first mistake, I put those screws in too early. They go on after I put the antenna on, so you're supposed to put some sealant between the antenna and the base plate. There we go, all mounted in place and sealed up tight. I think I'm going to wait to do the Eternabon tape around the outside till we get somewhere a lot warmer. It's sunny here, but it's still only around 50 degrees, so the tape will do better if I wait till I'm down around 70 or 75 degrees. Anyway, uh, you can see the height is below my vent covers, and I've never hit my vent covers, so I should be okay there. If you're wondering about my uh, Starlink dish, it comes down, it's just temporarily mounted up there, so it doesn't actually stay while we're driving. Anyway, let's get down below and uh, do the wiring and then we can do a test of it. So I made a bit of a faux pas up on the roof and used the wrong uh, input for my uh, cable. Um, this one I actually attached to the cable that comes down behind the TV to where the power switch is for the power antenna and that's wrong so I had to swap that. I put that cable on an open uh, connection in the King Jack antenna and then I had to run this cable down here because it connects to this level meter box. So I just had to switch two cables out. Um, as far as this goes the, for, the, for turning the, the antenna, I had to use the longer one. The one that was on it was too short, so I used the optional one for a longer, for bigger roof cavity. And just screwed this up where the old... Uh, antenna box used to live. They used to be able to turn the, the big uh, wine guard bat wing from here. So it covers up that hole, screws in place. So I'm just going to put the cover on and the knob. Next we're going to install the wall plate. That's it there. So it has the in from the antenna, the in from the cable. So you push that button and you can switch between cable TV and the, the antenna TV with it. It looks very similar to the one I have. Basically identical, but I think I'll install it just in case there's something slightly different. Although I noticed with this I'm going to lose my 12-volt uh, power jack. Not too much of a biggie though because uh, I have power boxes and stuff that can do it. I can always install a jack later if I want. Anyway, I've had a look at this and it's because it's all identical, even the markings on the board, I can just change all the wires here and it should just work like my old uh, powered antenna. Huh, gotta show you this. Gotta love uh, Keystone's crimps. Oh, nice one. <laughs> okay, now we got power. We can test the level meter here. Just to turn the switch on here. You see the lights there. So you take this and you spin it and you can see where you get the, the best signal. Doesn't look like I'm getting too much signal here. That's probably the best position there. So that's where I would actually scan it at. So TVs have all kinds of ways to scan. On my Vizio here, I go into channels. And I make sure it's not on cable mode. If it was on cable mode, that would be like hooked up to a cable in an RV park. 
So go to antenna mode, some, someone will call it over the air OTR. And then I just go find channels. And it's going to go through and scan, takes, takes my TV, you know, a number of minutes before it finishes. Okay, about five minutes later, done pretty good. Got about 16 channels. Let's see what we got here. It's like we got some old Baywatch show. Old black and white movies. All kinds of interesting stuff on free TV. Me TV. Must be getting picking stuff up from over in the US. We're pretty close to across from Bellingham. Me TV Plus. CIVI, that's a Canadian channel. CKVU, another Canadian channel. CHNM, Omni, yeah. Ion, probably American channel. Court TV, well there's definitely American channel. Bounce, so you can see there's a lot of old shows. Grit, that's a good one. Old Cowboy, there's John Wayne. Defy TV. So you can see some of them are a little uh, sketchy because we're just on the edge here. Might be able to move it slightly around. KVOS, that's a Bellingham. Anyway, there you go. Looks like uh, we're able to watch some TV. Most importantly, I'll be able to watch the hockey games here channel CBC to watch my hockey games. Anyway, there you go. That's the install of the King Jack antenna. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers, everyone.